Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. I will talk about atomic number, atomic mass. Before we talk about uh, Bohr model, let's talk about atomic number, atomic mass. And we'll do some questions on this atomic number, atomic mass. So the presence of positive charge in the nuclei is due to proton correct and the number of proton is nothing but atomic number please note atomic number is not equal to number of electrons don't get confused with this but is equal to number of proton because if the electron if the atom is charged right positive or negative this won't happen but this will always be true so please make please make sure that atomic number is always number of proton don't say num atomic number is equal to atomic number of electrons. This is true for some case where the atom is neutral but for charged atom it is not true. So don't ever take this. Always say atomic number is equal to number of proton. And this is denoted by z. If the atom is neutral in that case the number of proton will be number of electron. But this will happen only in case of neutral atoms. So atomic number is nothing but number of protons in the nuclei of a Atomic mass, if you see the mass is due to protons and neutrons, electron doesn't have any mass, I mean it has mass but very less mass, so you can ignore that. So both collectively are called nucleon also and if you see the mass number is nothing but number of proton and neutron. So for atomic number and atomic mass, we don't even talk about electron, we don't even talk about electron, correct? Atomic number means number of proton because proton decides the characteristic of the atom and mass number is the total mass and you know the mass is or mass of proton and neutron electron doesn't carry mass so just to understand you can do one thing proton proton if you see the, the, the word proton proton means power right proton the power word symbols so proton is the critical thing for atom it decides the property of the atom and that's the atomic number so the moment we talk about atomic number, talk about proton, proton, the powerful, proton, powerful, proton, atomic number, correct? So atomic number is nothing but the number of protons. And mass is nothing but the total mass of atom. And we know that electron is doesn't have any mass, very less mass. So the mass is nothing but the mass of proton. Huh? The symbol is this for any uh, element, x, a, z, where z is nothing but the atomic number. This guy is the mass and this is the symbol for the element. We have something called isobars and isotopes. Isobars are something with same mass number but different atomic numbers. So we see mass is same but atomic number, sorry, atomic mass is same, atomic number is different. And if you see atomic number is different, that means they have different properties. Correct? Because I told atomic number is nothing but the power, the proton. Right? And the proton is different, that means the property is different. Also, proton, you can make it as property also if you want. You don't like the power thing. Proton property, proton decides property. Isotopes, on the other hand, are someone which has same atomic number but different atomic mass. If you see, atomic number is same, proton is same, property is same. Simple. Atomic number is same, means proton is same, proton is same, the property is same. They have same properties. They have different atomic mass, right? You see, all the isotopes they have same chemical behavior. Why? Because the chemical behavior is controlled by number of electrons and protons, right? Since they are all neutral, they have same number of electrons and protons, all the same. The number of neutrons has very less impact on the chemical property of well. Let's take some example of the atomic number, atomic mass. So we define the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for this bromine. So we have atomic number as 35. And it is neutral. Please note it is neutral, there is no charge. So atomic number, atomic number will be nothing but number of proton. And atomic number is given 35. So the number of proton is 35. So we have got this. Since it is neutral, since neutral number of proton is equal to number of electron equal to 35. So we have got number of electrons. Now number of neutrons, so we know that atomic A mass 
is nothing but number of neutron plus number of electrons. So we know the atomic mass 80. Number of neutrons something we don't know. We will say x plus number of electrons is something which we know 35. So we saw x is 18 minus 35 that is 40. So we have number of neutrons as 45. Let's take one more example. The number of electrons, protons and neutrons in a species is equal to 18, 16 and 16. We have to assign the proper symbol. Pretty easy question. We know electron is 18, proton is 16 and neutron is 16. We know the atomic number is what? Number of proton. This is my atomic number. Right, so I have a species whose atomic number is 16. Correct. Now, what is atomic mass? Atomic mass is nothing but proton plus neutron, these two guys. That is 16 plus 16, that is 32. So this guy is 32. Now, let's check if we have charge on this. Is there a charge? The number of proton is 16, electron is 18. There is a difference. They are not same. That means there is a charge. So charge is nothing but my number of proton minus number of electron. That is 16 proton minus 18. That is minus 2. So there is a minus 2 charge. Now what is X? Very easy. 16. 16 atomic number is for sulfur. So it is, I am talking about sulfur with a negative charge. Very simple. I started with the proton, I got atomic number, but that only I came to know it is sulfur. I got atomic mass, very simple. And just to check with electron neutral or not, I found and I found that the charge is minus two. That's all. You have to calculate the number of electrons which will together be one gram. Also, you have to calculate the mass and charge of one mole of electron. So we know that mass of 1 gram of electron is what 9.10939 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg we got from this millikan amount of experiment right 1 gram of electron is this number of electrons in how much we have run? 1 gram See, this much, this many kg is equal to 1 gram. Correct. This many kg is equal to 1 gram. Or this kg, what I can do is, I can write in gram also. I can write in gram also. I can multiply with 10 to the power 3. This become grams. Correct. So, these many grams is equal to these 1, one electron, mass of 1 electron. Mass of one electron, sorry, mass of one electron is this many gram, right? Correct. Mass of one electron is this many grams. So number of electrons in one gram will be how much? One by whole thing. This becomes one by 9.10939 into 10 to the power minus 31 into 10 to the power 3. This will be the number of electrons in one gram. And that if you solve this becomes 1.098 into 10 to the power 27. So these many electrons will make one gram. Very simple. See mass of one gram, one electron is this many grams. So one gram will have one by these many electrons. Very simple question. This is that. Now you define the calculate the mass and charge of one mole of electron. Correct. So I know that. 1 mole of electron means what 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 electrons. This is 1 mole. We have learned this in class 10. So I have to find the mass of 1 mole. So mass of 1 mole is nothing but this many electrons into mass of each electron that is this guy. 9.10939 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. This is my mass of 1 mole of electron. You saw it comes out to be 5.48 into 10 to the power minus 7. 
So mass of one mole is I got. I have to find the charge of one mole. I know charge of one electron is how much? That is nothing but 1.602 2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. This is charge of one electron. So charge of one mole of electron will be how much? Six. This this number of electrons here have been one moles. So this number multiplied by charge of one electron that is 1.6022 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. And if you solve this, you get 9.65 into 10 to the power. This is the charge of one mole of electron. Hope you understand this. See, mass of one electron was easy to find. Then to find the mass of one mole of electron. So one mole of electron is nothing but these many electrons, 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 electrons. So I got mass of one mole is these many electrons into mass of one electron. Charge of one mole is nothing but my one mole electron into charge of one electron. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.